In early 2016, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health published the science blog, Coffee Workers at Risk for Lung Disease. It discusses diacetyl and a diacetyl substitute, which are both volatile organic compounds that are produced naturally and commercially. According to the NIOSH science blog, diacetyl and 2,3-pentanedione are produced as ingredients and flavorings that are added to some food products. However, they are both also naturally produced when coffee beans are roasted. The NIOSH blog goes on to discuss five workers from a coffee processing facility who were diagnosed with bronchiolitis obliterans, a form of lung disease. In recent years, the health effects associated with worker exposure to diacetyl and food flavorings containing diacetyl has come under increasing scrutiny. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration reports the following. A number of employees exposed to food flavorings containing diacetyl have developed serious respiratory illness presenting with persistent dry cough, wheezing, shortness of breath upon exertion, and fixed airways obstruction on spirometry. Several employees have been diagnosed with asthma or bronchiolitis obliterans. Bronchiolitis obliterans occurs when small airways become inflamed and scarred, resulting in the thickening and narrowing of the airways. The symptoms and airways obstruction range from mild to severe and do not improve when the employee goes home or on vacation. Because bronchiolitis obliterans is a rare disease, some employees may have been potentially misdiagnosed with asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, and or pneumonia. The loss of pulmonary function associated with severe bronchiolitis obliterans is permanent, and some patients have been placed on lung transplant waiting lists. While more research is needed, NIOSH recommends the following to reduce hazardous exposure associated with the use or manufacture of flavorings. Substitution of materials, engineering controls, administrative controls, education, personal protective equipment, and exposure and worker health monitoring. These are just a few things to know about exposure concerns to diacetyl and food flavorings containing diacetyl. To learn more about this or other occupational, environmental, health, safety, and air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.